It's about that time again for the In Touch Community Basketball Tournament. This tournament was started to make sure that we bridge the gap between law enforcement and the community. Not just minorities, but everyone. You know why? Because when you call the police, you don't ever call them to say, when it's good news. You don't ever say, hey man, you know, come over here, we having a cookout. No, you call them in an emergency situation. You call them when something's going wrong. You call them when your life is in danger. And nine times out of 10, when they come in, most of the time it's a hostile environment. Just to make sure we build more positive relations, I began to start this uh, tournament called In Touch Community Basketball Tournament. He can bring folks to this relationship that we could try forever and would never accomplish. The media portrayed them in a certain way. When you're like face to face with a cop, you see that some of them aren't really that bad. You're gonna have two different tournaments that you can sign up for no matter what area you live in, all right? On June the 29th, it's gonna be at Achievable Dreams. Their first tournament is gonna be ages 12 to 15 and 16 and up. So go ahead and sign your teams up no matter where you live, whether it's Hampton, whether it's Norfolk, whether it's Newport News, whether it's Denby or whatever. Sign up for that tournament June the 29th and you're gonna play at Achievable Dream High School. The second tournament takes place on Friday, July the 27th. That's gonna be at Warwick uh, High School, all right? No matter where you live, you can sign up for that one. You're gonna sign up for one or the other. If you lose in one, that's a wrap, all right? So we're gonna take the top two teams from each age bracket at each tournament, and then the finale is gonna happen August the 3rd, right here at the Community Center in Denby, all right? Here we have the bounce houses, we have the slides, we have the, the cotton candy machine, we have vendors, we have exhibits, we have all types of things, resume writing, we have all book bag giveaways. It's a great, great event. Now, even if you lose and don't make it to the end of the tournament and don't make it to it, you are still welcome to come here on August the 3rd. I think I thank the city, I thank Parson Rex for partnering with us and allowing us to use it. We thank Brother Sykes, who's the director here. We want to thank everybody for that. So again, June the 29th on that Friday from 9 to 5 at Achievable Dream High School. July the 27th at Warwick High School from 9 to 5 and those two tournaments you sign up for but only the top two teams from each age bracket will make it to this court right here. If you got game, sign up. I have a few fellas back here, they already out here practicing because they say they ready. They got the flyer, they say they're going to come out here and get dust off the skills, dust off the handles, get their layup drills on and they say they're going to build a team because they say they're coming to win. I'm ready to see you there and I'm going to see what happens. The community you all have won each year Year. The winner of the community, the tournament plays, the winner of the first responders, the first responders, the winner with the sheriff's department each time, but they always fail to the community, baby. Community power, baby. Let's see what the first responders do. Are you going to respond? All right, now don't arrest me for that, but I still love y'all. All right, deuces. In order to unite communities, there must be understanding. But what does it take to bridge the gap? It takes courage. It takes patience. It takes faith. But above all, it takes the opportunity to try to bridge the gap. Presenting the In Touch Basketball Tournament 2018. Register today.